sarcoidosis is a uh, form of chronic interstitial lung disease. Uh, it's a disease that, uh, though we don't know the, um, the cause, the etiology of this disease, it presents in a fashion um, that um, is really uh, distinguished by these granulomas, these clumps of immune cells uh, that appear in different organ systems. Uh, these immune cell clumps are largely driven by CD4 cells, um, and 90% of the sarcoidosis patients exhibit these granulomas in the lung. Uh, therefore, pulmonary sarcoidosis happens to be the most common phenotype. But you can see these granulomas in other organs in your, uh, in your heart. Uh, there's also neuro, neurosarc. Um, you know, th those are more serious forms sometimes, but pulmonary sarcoidosis is the most common uh, clinical phenotype you see um, present in sarcoidosis. I think, I think clinically, most of the experts have, um, they can distinguish sarcoidosis you know, fairly well once it's in, in, in the hands of an expert, a pulmonologist. Um, there are about 200,000 patients in the U.S. who uh, are afflicted with sarcoidosis. About half of those patients progress to need some form of systemic therapy. And that's, that's really the, the point where a pulmonologist may diagnose sarcoidosis by looking more closely at lung scans or heart scans uh, to determine whether or not um, a granuloma is detected. Um, there's quite a bit of work still ongoing to the etiologic cause, um, but as far as managing uh, these patients, uh, there's limited options. Um, quality of life for these patients, uh, you try to manage their cough and shortness of breath, um, mostly by using steroids. Uh, but I think the real danger in these patients is those patients that progress to become more fibrotic. And if you develop progressive fibrotic disease, that's really when the bad complications can occur and the more significant morbidity and mortality uh, for these patients. So uh, I, think, I think strides have been, met, have been made to really understand the, the progression, uh, but there's still some work around what really causes sarcoidosis. And there's still some debate out there whether or not it's, it's um, a uh, inorganic stimuli of some sort, or if it is in fact uh, maybe a bacteria, uh, there's there's different um, investigators looking at, at at this. But the presentation is rather um, stark, and the and the thing that really gets a lot of the physicians um, uh, understanding how to treat this disease.